Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Bad Box Art Challenge 2017. The Bad Box Art Challenge was a game jam where developers looked through a gallery of trash, which was a gallery of, like, images of box art that were particularly terrible, and then they'd pick um, an image from that and create a game based around it. I'm playing all the games that are under this jam for a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so you can check them out further. And all my in philosophy description, so you can check me out as well. At the end of this, I'll probably have an article of my favorites, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing Ninja Golf. Alright. USD click, okay. What? Ah, okay. I'm golfing their head. Is that what I need to do? I need to, like, get a hole in one with their head. Ah. Yeah. Look at that. 93. Come here. It's a bit hard, like. Ah. Aiming and destroying them before they destroy me. Oh, did I run out of people? Maybe I died. Ah, that was close. It's such a messy way to play golf. Yeah! It's a really fun idea though. I'm really enjoying the ninja golf ones. Oh, can I- do I have to like lure you over here? Come here. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Bam. Come over here. Come over here. Bam. Next. We're playing BBA 2017. Alright. Boom. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh. Is that it? So there's just a couple of rooms. I like. Oh. I want to go back and see that Viking guy. Hmm. I guess this is all they got done. I kind of like the fact that when we went through that first door, Viking kind of peeked in. There's a lot of, like, cool drawn stuff. I kind of like the graphic style, even though it's quite rough. Um, just the sort of hand-drawn look to everything. I don't know. Next. We're playing Secret Quest. You are Nolan, a soldier who's stuck in a never-ending maze of levels infested with monsters known as... Atari morphs. Each level is set to explode and you better get out of there fast. You have 30 seconds in each level to find a key and get to the flashing exit or else you'll explode the whole level. Um, controls. Said key injection. Use your sword. Arrow keys to move. Collect the key to unlock stuff. Blah blah blah. Boop ba doop. Okay. Okay. That must be my sword. <laughs> I like how colorful they are when they die. Looks like a very retro game. Just lead them into a corridor. Kill them. Just get out. We only have nine seconds. Okay. Boom. Okay. So far we're doing oh, pretty good. It's weird that these dinosaur thingies know how to use teleport. Next, we're playing Golf of the Ninja. Alright, left and right, aim with cursor. Don't let the ball hit the ground. Got it. Yeah, I should probably aim better. Awesome. Hold in one. We can also dash. Bam. Okay. Oh. Climb walls. I was hoping it would just go on top of the wall, but yeah. Nope. I suck at this. I need to use the dash. The top of the wall is a ground. Which sucks. Oh, I could have almost made it. What if we just kind of go up a bit and then, but ah, uh, 
up a bit, and then not on top of that, maybe. You know, this game got a whole lot more challenging. I honestly thought it was just gonna hit the top. I'm not very good at golf. <laughs> Next. We're playing fast food fight. Press accept button. Press coin button to figure, hmm. All right, well, apparently I did it. All right, touch and match more than three to create combos, get prizes. We can also block mover, blah, 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 blah. How do I actually play you? We're going to play against a CPU. Because why not? Uh, I don't know what any of these buttons need to be. One seems to do stuff. Of course, the description doesn't say anything. Uh, maybe I did it. Can we start? We've started. Okay. Okay. How do we select you though? Okay, E. Got it. So it's W A S D and then E. I get burgers, fries, hot dogs. It was a big hot dog area. Burgers, uh, fries. I like all these little cute food graphics. We'll try to just eliminate uh, the majority of one type and then move on to another type because I think that'll give us like bigger combos is my idea. So like now we've got huge kind of areas of hot dogs. Take you, I'll take you. I'm doing great. Player two, I thought you were supposed to be a CPU. Your mouth seems like really hungry. Maybe I did end up selecting player or a CPU. Happens at the end of this time limit. Nothing that's probably just for combos. Seems like an interesting concept. I'm not sure why I didn't end up playing against the CPU though. Next. We're playing Mr. Weems and the She Vampires. Alright. This man is Mr. Weebs. He has just inherited an old castle which his grandfather used to live in. The story has it that his grandfather had some very odd interests, which is why he summoned the she-vampires for his own amusement. The she-vampires don't like him, so they killed him. Now that Mr. Me Neem Weems? Weems? grandfather is dead, you must help him clear the castle of the she-vampires and take back what's rightfully his. But with arrow keys, Z to shoot. Oh wait, jump with ZX to shoot. B to pause. Alright. That must be a she vampire. And there's a load of like random gems in my grandfather's castle. I can take on some she vampires to get all of the wealth of a castle. I wonder if we know any of this weird uh, summoning power because we're related. Then break out of coffins. That was a lizard. A frog, even. Bye, frog. Okay. Ah, these stupid toads. Pretty nicely made game. It's got five levels. Feels good. Next. We're playing Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. Welcome to the Salad Kingdom, a peaceful land where vegetables could live happy lives together. The graphics for these are really nice. Until one day when White Radish took over the kingdom with his radish robot and stole Princess Tomato from her carrot castle. Now you, Cucumber Knight, must fend off White Radish's minions to get to carrot to go to the carrot castle, save Princess Tomato and the kingdom. Alright, A and D to avoid obstacles when fighting minions the correct arrow. Alright. Part one, the fennel fields.
Oh, I didn't do it right. Okay. I understand now, though. Down. Got him. Ooh. I kind of thought we'd snap to place a bit more in, like, three different um, lanes almost, but that is not what's happening, which is fine. This is a pretty interesting game. I've not played one where the attack is quickly pressing the keys that it wants me to press. Oh, I got some life back. This guy, he was a different character. He was an aubergine or an eggplant. The mushroom forest. Cool. Next. We're playing the skateboard joust. Alright. We can do this. Alright, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click this one. Oh, I missed him. Oh, and I fell off my skateboard. So I figured once I was in the air, I'd just land back on my skateboard. Obviously, that wasn't uh, the case. I keep forgetting. I need to not do that. All right, so game over. Let's try again. I want to attack them. Am I just supposed to stay alive? All right. Oh, I can be any of these people. Let's be the knight. I overshot that time. I think I just need to stay on the skateboard. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna stay on the skateboard. Does that mean I win? No, it's a tie. Wow, so that's what happens when they attack you. So I guess you wanna knock your opponent off the skateboard in hopes that that'll, you know, give you the advantage and let you win. I'm gonna try one more. I'll be be the monkey this time. I like the different characters you can pick from. Ah, oh, I fell off. I totally had him. Oh, that time he had me, though. Next. We're playing Shit, a Cho-Aki tribute. Probably said that wrong. Hmm. I plugged in a controller, thinking maybe that would help. It doesn't look like it is. I'm not sure how to start the game. Um, okay, back to Minmay. This is working now. I had to reload the game, I think. Alright. So we do this, we do this. So we're just supposed to hit everyone, like this. Just like kicks. <laughs> attack people. Like, literally shut up. I'm literally about to die. I'm kind of frozen. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it. It's a very interesting game. Um, controller works. It does have keyboard controls. I just ended up going with the controller because that's what ended up working. Next. We're playing Hit and Punch Em. Oh, we're on the, one of these, like, Rock'em Sock'em robots. I love Rock'em Sock'em robots. Your head popped off. That was my favorite. Oh, no. I don't like two of them on me. Okay. I need to back up. I don't have enough stamina to continue fighting. Oh, no, I'm in the corner. More stamina. I was hoping he would be finished off, this green guy, but we're going to get more stamina, I think. I died. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get to watch my head pop. Well, there's my body, so now I have it. And the green one was like one punch away. Come here, blue guy. Stop it. This is a pretty cool game. I always like the look of uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots.
next.